Mars Colonization The bold dream of turning the Red Planet into humanity's second home. But is this vision grounded in science, or is it an illusion fueled by ambition? NASA aims to send astronauts to Mars in the 2030s, beginning with exploration and the construction of small bases. Elon Musk's SpaceX, however, paints a much bigger picture, a self-sustaining city of millions, and the transformation of humanity into a multiplanetary species. Yet reality tells a different story. A one-way trip to Mars takes at least six months, and the cost of a round trip would reach tens of billions of dollars. With today's technology, large-scale migration is far from feasible. The human body also faces severe challenges. Mars offers only one-third of Earth's gravity, while cosmic radiation poses constant risks. Add the strain of isolation and cramped living quarters, and the question arises, can humans truly endure life on Mars? Survival resources remain another obstacle. Water, food, and breathable air cannot all be imported from Earth. Instead, they must be produced locally. Scientists are experimenting with growing crops in Martian soil and extracting water from frozen ice near the poles. Promising steps, but still very early ones. For this reason, many experts believe that AI and robots will arrive first. Autonomous machines could build habitats and infrastructure, AI systems could maintain life support conditions, and only then would humans follow. But the deeper question remains, is Mars a genuine second chance for humanity? A plan B against climate disaster or extinction? Or is it a seductive distraction from solving Earth's own crises? Mars colonization is still a distant dream. It may take decades, or even centuries, to achieve. Yet one truth is clear, the technologies developed on the path to Mars may help us protect the very planet we live on today. In the end, humanity's greatest challenge may not be reaching the red planet, but preserving the blue one we already call home.